Hey Tara, how did you like the show tonight? Oh my god, I'm exhausted. <laughs> how did you like the stunning crowd? They were amazing. Um, as soon as I was standing out off the stage waiting to go on, very, very nervous. And um, as soon as like I have this intro music, so like 20 seconds, and I can hear them go, ah, and I was like, oh, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> hey, we've been waiting for you for two months. <laughs> <laughs> they were amazing. They were so cool. I like completely loved it. I was in heaven. about the fact that a lot of people know you from Armand Valtelden and um, David Cuera songs and nobody actually puts the name and the face together or yeah. the name and the voice together. What do you think about that? Um, Are you going to change it? I want to change that. Yeah, that's what I really want to do. I mean, it, it's hard if you're a, a featured vocalist, even if you co-write a song and, you know, so you make a record with somebody, you don't always get much of the credit because you're a featured artist, so when it comes to radio and stuff, your name is hardly ever mentioned, that kind of thing. But um, I feel really grateful to have worked with all these amazing people, and I'm looking forward to making more records with people and building, you know, building this career and uh, sharing music with people. Like coming here, it's just a complete joy for me. At the age of nine, yeah. As I as I read uh, at the Broadway show or uh, yeah, well, it's like, yeah, or it's like it's like the English Broadway, and um, we have West End in London. And I grew up in like the smallest village you'll ever find. There's no, not even one shop. I lived next hey, to a you've farm. You've never been in Stony Village. <laughs> oh really? Me. It's probably the same, right? There's like I, I used to look out my window. There's sheep, <laughs> you know, no shops. And then uh, I ended up getting. Uh, singing in my church, a local church, and then someone saying that I had a nice voice and my mum should take me to an audition and she took me for fun. And then I ended up getting a part in this show. And then it That's was... That's a big thing, come on. Oh yeah, it was, I mean, it's my mum hated it. Yeah, she was like, I don't want her to be a singer, she's still a child. You know, this isn't a career, this is just for her. We just did this for fun. It's just a hobby. <laughs> it's just a hobby. Yeah, they really didn't want me to sit. My dad was more like, hey, this could be great. You know, <laughs> let, let, let her do it, come on. And so in the end, I was crying and they let me do this show. And, and it was hard because it was like two hours from London. I've got another sister, so I had to look after her. Hey, you were work. nine. I was nine, but they let me work and uh, I completely loved it and then I never stopped from then so Thank <laughs> you. 
Of, uh, great hits, but oh, what's uh, what's in the future? What does the future hold for um, Tara McDonald? Well, um, loads of exciting things. I mean, this year, for example, has just been incredible. It's been like just such a crazy year. Like uh, making my first video with David and doing all these great shows, and he's he's such a lovely person. And working with Todd Terry, when we get down, you know, he's so lovely as well. So it's nice to meet people to work with that become really good friends as well. Um, next year, there's uh, some new collaborations. I can't tell you now, which is a shame because I I really want to. Yeah, <laughs> but, and I've got such a big mouth. So I'm like, oh. I've tried. To keep this. <laughs> yeah, I've got to try because uh, I promised that I would. So, um, but about February time, I should have a new record, and then I'm working on my own project. I've been doing this for ages, so um, next year we we hope to have the first release like, early next year. <laughs> I would love to come back. I'm definitely going to come back, whether it's for work or pleasure, because um, coming for one day, you know, I come in the afternoon and I do sound check, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's not enough time to really get to know like, this beautiful city and where I'm staying in the most gorgeous hotel. And I can just see from the window that the streets outside are beautiful and I want to discover more about Tallinn. And so I'm going to come for a little break and hopefully another gig. Come and let us know and we're going to let your fans know. So. Yeah, definitely. Can you do a little show in Privé again? Oh, I'd love to. I'd love that. I mean, it was amazing tonight. I'm sure the Privé crowd is waiting for you to come back. I'm, I'm waiting. We've been for, waiting for two months. So come on. <laughs> I tell you, it was incredible and um, it was amazing energy. People here are really open and they're just like really up to party, really cool vibe, the club is so beautiful, you know, everything tonight was just magic. So next time you're gonna come for a party, we're gonna party, we're gonna enjoy Let's another DJ, another live performance and you're gonna party with us. Definitely, okay. definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>